Hi, it's Leontine from Little Lovely Crafts. I'm with you today with a special shadow box card featuring the new Lan Fan and Ellen Hudson S'more the Merrier stamp set. As I described on my blog, I already stamped and colored all of my images. Not all of the images you see here are gonna get used on the card. I am using thicker cardstock for the outer panel and that's 27.2 by 7 centimeters. If you want to know the inches, check out my blog. And you need to fold it at 13.6 centimeters. I created little scenes for each part of my card and of course it has to do with making s'mores. I used Lan Fang cardstock for the shadow box itself because I don't want the card to be too bulky. I'm using that same Lan Fang cardstock on the hills as well. And now it's time to do some distress inking. I am using Blueprint Sketch and Chipped Sapphire on pretty much all of the panels except for the ones that are going to be my grass and sand. Thank you. 
you might have noticed I didn't put ink on everything. Sometimes I knew it was going to get covered up by a panel or uh, it was going to get glued on. And um, I know that it is better not to have ink on the panel because then the score tape doesn't stick as well. Especially since I'm not going to let it dry really long. And once everything has its color, it's time to use my Lanfan Liquid Stardust mixed with water bottle and that is going to be a sort of impression of starry sky. These tiny little hills that come with the shadow box card dies aren't going to fit on my outer panel so I'm going to make my own with the slimline stitched hillside borders and I will use some lawn fun cardstock for this as well. This is also cut at 27.2 centimeters and I will uh, cut it in half so I can make two hills out of it, one for the outside and one for the inside. I ended up needing a little more but I am going to make them later. To make the hills as long as my panel, I am only die cutting them up until the point where my dies uh, stop. And then I'm going to move my die and run it through the die cut machine again. And you always want to make sure that you're not die cutting anything you don't want uh, to have die cut. Because you don't want to end up with two pieces that you can't use. I thought that folding these heels would be enough, but I noticed that on my outer panel uh, it didn't have enough space to move around and then there would be a little gap at the end. So I decided to cut my front panel in half and then I ended up with two heels that are more evenly distributed along the card. And now I can ink these up as well. I'm using Lucky Clover and Pine Needles.
For the sandy hills I'm using antique linen brushed corduroy and I'm making some splatters with vintage photo. And then I am going to make some ink splatters with uh, pine needles and forest moss. And I decided to also use a darker watercolor of mine. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure what the brand is, but just a, a darker green watercolor will do. I've cleaned my work surface and let everything dry and now I can try and see where I can cut my hills. I decided that because my shadow box is going to uh, lean against the corner of my front panel, I don't need to have those uh, grassy hills there and I can use them on other sides of my uh, card. So I'm deciding where it goes, then I'm making a tick mark with my pencil and I can cut it with my cutting board. I need one more grassy hill inside of my shadow box and I am measuring it against the, the hill that is already there because I want it to seem seamless. And once I have made that one, I also needed one for the front of my shadow box card. For that I'm not going to let it uh, seamlessly flow into another grassy uh, hill because that would be 
really high for uh, the seam so that one is just going to be a short uh, grassy hill but before I can go ahead and make that one I'm going to make my shadow box card I'm using thin score tape for this and you will notice that I need to replace some of my score tape because it doesn't stick anymore I had some trouble lining it up perfectly and then uh, the sticky part wasn't sticky anymore so I replaced it and then it was working just fine Now I can attach my shadow box to that large panel and I'm using tape runner for it and the reason is that if I make a mistake I can easily just pull it off and glue it on again. So as I started decorating the card, I noticed that my shadow box card front was of course blue and it needed some grass. Luckily I had one of those uh, stitched hills lying around. So all I had to do was cut off those glue tabs and just make it green. Whenever critters are holding something, I like them to actually be able to hold it. So what I do is I alter the pause a little bit and usually that means cutting into the stamped image.
I made a tiny little mistake. I glued on the fox on the edge of the shadow box card and that meant when I close the card his tail is gonna stick out. Um, so I thought maybe I just gently, uh, I don't know, slice him off with my knife and then reposition him. But in the end I ended up just gluing him back on again and just folding over his tail because it worked with the scene anyway. I thought I was gonna do something with this branch and those fall leaves but in the end I decided to stick with the whole pine tree theme so I stamped uh, some more of those pine trees from Winter Village and colored them in the same color scheme and then I could complete my front panel. The sentiment I was going to use is a little bit longer than the everyday sentiment banner. So what I did was let the end stick out a little bit of my cutting plates and then run it through the die cut machine. And then once it was uh, run through I could move the die a little bit and cut out the other part. And of course you need to make sure that the part that is already cut is sticking out because you don't want to accidentally uh, snip that off. I wanted to white heat emboss my sentiment on there and at first I did it freehand but the ink wasn't thick enough so my sentiment wasn't as white as I wanted it to be so I decided to use my stamp body and it is a little bit of a hassle trying to get it right but in the end I managed to get it in the right spot and I used some anti-static powder and then well the rest speaks for itself. <laughs> And with the sentiment on there, my card is finished. I really hope you liked it. If you did, you can give my video a thumbs up. Just look at all these critters having fun together. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon to get notified when my next video is up. I've linked a few videos you might like to watch as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!